Hey guys, this is Jared Dodd. Welcome back to 15 Essentials for Our Children. If you have not seen the introduction video on 15 Essentials, please watch that. These are 15 things that are really essential. They're, they, they set our children up for success in this world and in God's kingdom. Uh, today we're going to be talking about number two, which is well-mannered. For our children to be educated, for them to be uh, set up for success in fulfilling the destiny that God has for them, they must be well-mannered. And hopefully this isn't a tough selling point. I mean, think about it. Uh, this can open up tons of doors. There's people I know that started off at a business, for instance, and they were, they were just down, down at the bottom of the totem pole. And the thing that got them up to the top wasn't furthering their education in the world's eyes, uh, but it was manners. It was that they knew how to treat people. And people were drawn to them. People enjoyed being around them because they're like, wow, that guy just is really nice, really well-mannered. Uh, this is huge for marriage, too. I mean, this sets our kids up for marriage. I want my sons to marry a woman who is nice and knows how to treat them. I want my daughters to marry a man who who uh, respects them and loves them and shows them deference and, and just is nice to be around. Manners are very, very important. And this is something that is lacking more and more in the youth of, unfortunately, not only society, but the earth of the church, uh, the uh, children of the church because of the cross-pollinization uh, between the world and the American church. And yet, I want to encourage you parents, this is not complicated. You can set your kids up for success in this area. You can raise children that are extremely well-mannered. It's never too late to turn that ball around. Uh, you just have to make it a priority. So I want to give you two practical steps to setting your kids up to be well-mannered. First of all, you teach them. And this is where even at the youngest age, and it's better to start young, but it's never too late. But you just teach them. You say, hey, this is what you say. If you want to ask for something, you say, please. That's appropriate. Uh, if someone says, uh, if someone does something for you, you say, thank you. If someone says, thank you, you say, you're welcome. Or you can say, my pleasure. Growing up, when my parents wanted to get my attention and they'd say, Jared, I wasn't allowed to say what? Because in their eyes, that was rude. And so I had to say yes. So they'd say, Jared, I say yes. And I'm so glad they did because it's almost would make me feel embarrassed if, you know, the thought of people today as, as adults saying, hey, uh, Mr. Dodd, and me going, what? Instead of saying, yes, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, how can I help you? And uh, this is something my parents did a great job on. And like I said, I only left the house with just a few of these essentials, but that right there really made a difference in my level of success as an adult. Being well-mannered is very important. So you teach your children. Uh, this means that you role play with your kids. For instance, we prefer that when our kids come up to us and maybe we're fellowshipping with the church, and if I'm in the middle of a conversation with someone, I don't want my child to interrupt. So we train them. We say, okay, this is what you do. You come up and you tap us on the arm and then you wait. And then we'll turn to you and you speak. And you just, I mean, it's simple. You say in situations, this is what you do and this is what you don't do. This is what you say and this is what you don't say and you role play. So you just set up a pretend shop and you, okay, can I have this? Thank you. You're welcome. And you praise them. And yet you want to explain to them why we're doing this. Why? Because the Bible says that our, our conversation and our doings are supposed to be seasoned with salt and gracious. Uh, this helps us to be the light of the world. And you say, this is something God wants. God wants us to be well-mannered. And children are very clever and they get it. They're like, well, yeah, sure. Because guess what? Our kids like for us to be well-mannered with them. So I say please to my children. I say thank you. I say my pleasure. And it sets them up for success. So that's the first of the two things that I would advise is just to train your child. Work with them. If they ask for something and they don't ask for it a nice way, you say, excuse me, and you have them ask it again. And finally, they get it and they ask with proper manners and you show them that good manners gets good rewards. Okay, so that's the first step is just simply training your child. And I would encourage you, especially in the younger years, to set aside some time every day and just have manners training. Make it a subject in your home education. Uh, second thing that we need to do is we need to keep our children away from the bad company that corrupts good morals. Scripture says that bad company corrupts good morals. So if I'm training my child, and yet when they're not with mom and dad, they're surrounded with children, or they're watching movies, or whatever it is, receiving influences that are completely opposite to what I'm trying to convince them of, this is going to be very, very difficult, almost impossible. And this is where parents have to make the call, what kind of people do I want my kids around? 
Uh, what kind of things do I want my children to watch, whether it's on a computer or on a television? And honestly, I think this is where a lot of the issue lies because there are parents I know who are, for the most part, teaching their children to have good manners, but their children are receiving more instruction from the world and therefore the world is winning. So this is where you have to make some hard choices. I mean, this might mean even protecting your children from good Christian children because those good Christian children are not well-mannered. All right, guys, hey, take these, make them your own, hold them up to Scripture, and make these mission objectives for your family. Sit them down and say, hey, guys, we are going to be a family that is well-mannered. Here's our strategy. Let's do it. And it's going to get your children excited. I think many children are bored with the expect, the mediocre expectations of our culture and of, unfortunately, American Christianity. Expect them to be men. Expect them to be women of God. Expect them to be well-mannered and well-behaved, and you'll find sons and daughters that are really excited because finally they've got something to live for. They've got something to achieve that goes well beyond the goals of this culture. All right, guys. Hey, let's keep on running forward. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Please subscribe to this channel if you want to get our updates. Uh, We would love to hear from you. Feel free to put some comments, uh, constructive comments below. Uh, Blessings to you and your family. We'll see you next time.